Well, and here in Duval County, earlier today, flooding near Maxwell House in downtown, and this was before the storm made landfall. So we're going to go out to News for Jack's reporter Eric Gavinier, who's been around Duval County this evening, and joins us with an update on flooding. Eric. Yeah, right now we're in San Marco on San Marco Boulevard near LaSalle Street, where the winds, I would say, within the past 15 to 20 minutes have begun to pick up with some occasional wind gusts. And we've also seen that wind gusts actually really push that rain a little bit harder. Now, anyone who lives in San Marco, this neighborhood, know that this strip of San Marco uh, typically floods. Right now, it's not looking pretty bad at all. In fact, it looks pretty good. Traffic is able to uh, get through here. However, I will say, like I said earlier on, uh, we were starting to see the, the rain pick up and now we're starting to see just a little bit of a uh, water collecting here uh, right here along the edge of the sidewalk here so we're definitely going to monitor that but you know I will tell you uh, people that own businesses like this one they came prepared I mean they uh, they've got several tarps they've got sandbags they've got zip ties they're doing everything possible to keep water out and it's not just this business the business across the street and all those businesses that are that are up and down this strip of san marco boulevard of course uh, they had some practice with this earlier uh this month when we had just regular rainstorms uh that had this area flooded uh for several nights on end so uh back then of course all of this was completely underwater and at the time we saw vehicles that were getting stalled out because they thought they could make it through and they couldn't. Now, we'll tell you this. I'm going to step around this way. I'm going to uh, walk it down here a little bit. Again, uh, this is a, the same business, but as you can see, they're using uh, more tarp, more tape. They want to keep that. Uh, this entrance open, but just right here, uh, here at the intersection of uh, LaSalle Street and San Marco Boulevard, there is a, um, a, a a pump. Right now, that pump is is doing its job. It is keeping that water from collecting because, again, we know uh, just from uh, previous weeks where, again, uh, when that pump wasn't doing what it was supposed to do and other pumps weren't doing what they were supposed to do, all of this was underwater, but it is doing its job. And also there is another pump uh, further down San Marco Boulevard, about a quarter of a mile down. So uh, it, it's prepared. Now we are seeing we, the one thing that's really interesting, uh, despite uh, the, 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 the rains that are coming down and the winds that are picking up, we are seeing quite a few people on the road going through here. We've seen quite a few people on the interstate. We've seen quite a few people up on the northwest side. We were just, um, uh, not long ago, we were just on the northwest side just to try to see how things were doing uh, up in the Ken Knight area. So far, that is holding up pretty well. Uh, no reports of any flooding, but I can tell you that uh, we did see that there were people that were taking the city up on their offer uh, to offer shelter. And so we did see people getting on those buses and going to one of the shelters there, the, the Legend Center up there in the north west side but again right now we're in san marco we're monitoring things uh so far so good there isn't any significant flooding only thing we're seeing if we can swing the camera that way uh, Judd, only thing we're seeing now because the rains are starting to come down a little bit harder we're starting to see the water collect here up against the side of the sidewalk here but it's not too high uh, and again um again we're going to be out here throughout the evening monitoring things reporting live from san marco eric avignet channel 4 the local station. All right, Eric, thank you.